think straight. I'm in shock right now. I, I just want somebody. I'm just waiting to hear something, anything. Tonight at 6.30, a family is frantic for news of their loved one hours after a boat capsizes along the Delaware River, sending two men into the choppy water. Good evening, Natasha's off. I'm Joe Holden. We are following a developing story out of Penns Grove, New Jersey, where rescuers continue to search for that person. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Nieves is live there with details on the rescue efforts. Alicia. Well, Joe, search and rescue teams have been out here since two this afternoon. You can tell they are still out on the water tonight searching. Here is what they have told us so far. Two men who live in a house along the water line went out on a small 12 foot boat to check on crab traps. At some point that boat flipped and so far only one of them has made it out of the water. For hours, choppers were in the air near Penns Grove, New Jersey. A half dozen rescue boats combed part of the Delaware River. Authorities called here after a small boat capsized, and at least two men were thrown into the choppy water. So I was just riding my bike, and I heard help, help. And I just, you know, I looked. I couldn't find nobody. And then I saw him pop up the first, the second time, when, and he was swimming. Pop like from the water, right? Yeah, because the current took him down the first time when he yelled help. George Legee was riding his bike along the water's edge near Mills Street. He saw the boat that flipped in the water, one man screaming and frantically swimming to shore. He never saw the other person come up. I hope they find him because it's Mother's Day and... You know, it's that, you know, almost see that happen on Mother's Day. I honestly, I can't really think straight. I'm in shock right now. I, I just want somebody. I'm just waiting to hear something, anything. Caroline Ware says the men in the boat are her cousins, Chris and Frankie Montana. Chris made it out of the water. Authorities have been searching for Frankie. I don't know what happened, but I just really hope they find Frankie because. And crews out here say that this is still a search and rescue effort, although the man that they are searching for has likely been in these cold waters for over four hours. Again, that man has been identified by family as Frankie Montana. The other man who made it out the water identified as Chris Montana. Authorities say that he was taken to the hospital and he's dealing with hypothermia right now, but in stable condition. Reporting live in Salem County, Alicia Nieves, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you for that developing story.